In this video, I will show you the best way to add texture to your designs in Adobe Illustrator. My name is Ray Dombrowski. I run a business called The Vector Lab. It sells fonts, textures, and time-saving tools to graphic designers. I also design t-shirts, logos, and lettering. And this method works especially well for those kinds of designs. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator. This is a vector design made out of type converted to outlines. The white background here is just the artboard, so there's actually no background color. And the next thing I'm gonna do is place a bitmap texture. So I'll go File, Place, and I will place a plastisol texture in here. This is a collection of textures I have that will make your designs look vintage, washed, and worn like cracked ink, like an old thrift shop t-shirt. But I'm just gonna pick one called Plastisol 10 Medium, and it's ready for print, so it's a good texture to use for screen printing. And I'll place it in here and scale it down a bit. This would be enough texture to cover the whole design, but I do wanna show you something special here. I'm just gonna duplicate it. The nice thing about these Plastisol textures is they tile in full repeat. So you can just tile them up side to side if you need to or if you want to. The cool thing about bitmap textures is that you can just assign them a color. I just assign them white, but that's not actually knocking transparency through the design. If I move the design up off the artboard, you can see that it's just a white texture on top. So I'll change this back to black, just so you can see a little better. And the first thing I wanna do is let's group these two textures. That's very important. If you're using more than one texture, make sure you group them together. So I've grouped that, Command G. And now what I want to do is I want to select the design with the texture on top. And if you have a background color, don't select the background color. Now all we want to do is go to the transparency window. If you don't have that open, just go to Window, Transparency. And all you need to do is click on this button that says Make Mask that makes an opacity mask. And now you'll see when I slide it up off the artboard, it is a truly transparent texture. If you're finding some difficulty and your texture is not applying, make sure to toggle the clip and invert mask boxes just in case. 90% of the time, if this method isn't working, it's because you need to try different combinations of those options. But this is working, so I'm gonna leave it the same. Let's say we're sending this design out to be direct-to-garment printed or printed with Amazon Merch. A lot of these direct-to-garment companies will allow you to send a transparent PNG, and that's super easy to do right out of Illustrator. You can go File, Export, and I like to save for Web Legacy because it shows you a preview of how it's gonna look. Now, this is exporting as a JPEG. We need to change this to PNG 24, and now you'll see that transparency is in there. So all we do is click save, and we just save that as a PNG file, and it's ready to go to send off to the printer. If you wanna find out more about these Plastisol textures, be sure to check the links below the video. I also recommend T-Shirt Design Master Collection. It's my largest bundle of T-Shirt Design resources, textures, mock-up templates, tutorials, and two full-length t-shirt design workshops. It's a really good deal. Thanks for watching.